Hi. Do, do, do you like my new outfit? Is it cute? <laughs> I really like it. Uh, let, let, let me know how you feel about it. <laughs> Anyway, hello there, and welcome back to the channel. I've had some ideas slowly forming in the back of my head for the right side of my entrance, so in between this video and the last, I went on an island planning website and created this monstrosity. It might not look like much to you, but it makes sense in my head. If I was a good girl in between videos, and I've already emptied out the area that we are going to be putting the house, but I don't have the villager I want to occupy the house on the island, so let's go do that. Thankfully, I have Rami so all it's gonna take is a bing, bing, bing. Then it's as simple as checking with Lily at her tent and fulfilling her wishes. She asked us for a natural garden table and she gave us a cuckoo clock as a thank you. And time travel to the next day and do that two more times. I'm sure you've seen or done this process a few times so I won't bore you with the nitty gritty. But I did want to show you the fact that Lily gave me the highly coveted, highly sought after cutting board DIY recipe. Something about me just getting that recipe after only a few months of having the save file, when I've seen people online spend a few years trying to get it, just humored me. After that, I finally asked her to move in. I decided to place her with Simon, totally not because I hate all the monkeys in this game or anything like that. When she moved in, I sprinted over to her house to check in on her and make sure she was doing all right. She was, thankfully. I did a little happy spinning dance of joy before leaving her to get settled. Then it was time to start terraforming. If you couldn't tell by my happy dance, Lily is my absolute favorite villager in this game. Even if she didn't fit the theme, she would still be here. The reason why I love her so much goes all the way back to 2013, when little Emily picked up New Leaf and started this whole Animal Crossing addiction. Ahem, excuse me. It's not an addiction. It's a lifestyle. My whole life, for some reason, I've been addicted to cartoon frogs. I don't really know why, it's just been that way my whole life. It's just something about their faces or the little froggy smiles, I don't really know. Because of that, I immediately took a liking to this frog living in my town. Lily was my favorite villager in my new leaf town. Then, when Pocket Camp came out, I immediately got her to come to my campsite, and she was my campsite caretaker when I was a part of the Pocket Camp Club. After watching the New Horizons trailer that showed us we could invite villagers onto our islands to the campsite with Amiibo, I immediately bought hers off of eBay. She was like the fifth or sixth villager on my Switch Lite island, I think. Oh, let me actually talk about this real quick. I made these little custom design grid squares. I like having these while terraforming or planning an island because they really help me to visualize exactly how much space a building will take up. And he was just back to terraforming and back to my little story. So after all of these years of me practically growing up with her, it would be really weird for her to not be on the island with me. It would feel like I was playing a whole different game, you know what I mean? She's what makes Animal Crossing, Animal Crossing for me. Wow. Wow, that story turned out being a lot longer than I thought it was gonna be. Well, I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. Back to talking about the build now. I'm just doing some waterscaping and making these two waterfalls connect. It's kind of like she'll have her own private island inside of the island. Then I'm just making this little dongle on the right so I can fill it with trees and bamboo. And this, my friends, is when I realized I had made a grave error. It took me this long to realize that I had completely run out of bamboo trees. I was trying to save my tickets up for a villager hunt for a future video, but in order to finish this build, I had no choice other than to fill up on cherries and just pray that I got the 10% chance of getting Bamboo Island. Cue to my utter amazement and shock when I got it on the first ticket. I feasted upon my cherries and absolutely desolated the place. The whole time I was just thinking about how my environmental science professor would be so disappointed in me. Good news though, I will never need any more bamboo trees. I gave my boy Wilbur a pat on the back for getting me the goods I was after and flew home to put my bamboo to good use. Hold on a second, I just, I said home. 
You know what? No, I'm not even gonna correct myself. I play this game so much. Animal Crossing is my home. These trees are gonna be kind of the backdrop to this whole area. From the left side of my entrance all the way to that left river mouth, it's gonna be a mushroom forest. It's gonna be really overgrown, bushy, and magical. I probably shouldn't have waited so late in the video to mention this, but today I'm only focusing on Lily's house area. I'm not really going to be touching the bottom of my plan yet. I need to order more mushroom platforms before I can work on the stuff down there. For right now though, I was ready to move Lily's house, so I time traveled to the next day. So basically, I forced her to move from wherever she lived before, gave her a day to get settled in her new home before I uprooted her life again. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. It'll totally be worth it, girl. Just you wait and see. I placed her, oh wait, I mean, I placed, there we go, oh my gosh. I always have to imagine it for some reason, and then I was good to go with the decorations. Instead of time traveling to when her house was built, I instead time traveled to the half hour before it was going to be built, aka freaking early in the morning. I wanted to add some glow into this build, and I thought it would be cool to see this glow in this lighting, and oh, oh man, this was a vibe. It was pretty late at night when I was recording this, so I was just sitting in my chair with a little blankie, running through the glowing moss, just listening to the relaxing morning music. It was so peaceful, and I loved every minute of this. some vines on the cliffs to add some dimension and I found these little lily pad custom designs I just had to add. If you're curious about any or all of the custom designs that I'm using, I'll leave them in the description for you. Now I'm on to the items. Because Lily's gonna be living in this like almost alien-like part of the island where all the trees and vegetation is all glowy and different, I thought it would make sense for her to have a little botany set up. Maybe she can be the island researcher who's trying to learn more about these glowing plants. Here's when the hour rolled over and Lily's house was moved. Here's the first look of what we have so far. Lily already loves it. She was talking about air drying her laundry, so I felt bad that she actually didn't have any. So just because of that, I gave her her own clothesline. I would only do something like this for Lily. She's the only one that gets this special treatment. I gave her a little path at the front of her door, and of course, had to fill it with custom designs. And Lily was just over here falling in love with her house. This just made me so happy. The other villagers never seem to interact with the stuff you've built them, but Lily is over here, taking on this role as island botanist I've given her, just making the story I made up in my head just come to life. I've never had an experience like this before with any other villagers, or even any other build. But, uh, we're, we're not done yet, so stop taking screenshots of this cute moment, Emily, and let's finish the speed build up. I threw more stuff on the second cliff before jumping back to the side yard and adding in this karaoke table with a little music box on top. I just bought the song I Love You from the next stop, and I think that's very fitting, all things considered. <laughs> Of course, my little froggy needs her own froggy chair to sit on and listen to her music box when she's not gardening. Emily, get off your bottom, we're not done yet. This is when I noticed you couldn't climb up the ladder, so I moved the greenhouse over a space. You may have noticed I didn't put any trees in this special spot. I wanted a little gyroid tea party up here. If I can put down the blanket, that is... A babloid and a bloopoid are having the party. They have a big scrumptious cake and a colorful tea set. I placed a pink hyacinth to hide the party behind. Maybe it's a secret party between the two of them. But there's one little guy who can't be fooled that easily. He can smell that cake and he wants some crumbs. Adding some final details, some weeds, some clear custom designs to keep the weeds from spreading, gave Lily a sink and a watering can to keep her flowers happy and healthy, and then Lily's backyard is officially done. And wow, is it looking beautiful in this sunrise. 
This was a very wide build. It really is hard for me to portray the scope of how big this is on camera, but hey, it's Lily, so she deserves it. Lily was doing amazing modeling work. I'm so proud of her. I love everything about this build. I love the vines and the glowing moss. It makes it look so lush and textured. Lily's gardening and plant research area is so cute. I'm always catching her using it. She also loves her froggy chair. I literally bought the pro camera app just to show you the gyro tea party. They look like they're having a good time drinking from the little teacups and eating their cake. I had a really good time building this one and I hope you enjoyed watching me do so. I really appreciate you sticking around until the very end. I hope you all have an amazing day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!